Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We're in Bosco's. Bosco's got a new look in this one once again. Uh, and I've been told to show this unicorn to everybody, so um, we're going to do this. Apologies in advance. Hey Bosco, want to rub my unicorn? <laughs> I'm not that kind of woman. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be a, a thing, isn't it? Max. Hey Max, want to pet the unicorn? No thanks, I took care of that before we left the office. <laughs> oh no. Of course I'm very childish, so I'm going to laugh at every one of these. I've got to figure out how to loot this thing from the moon as well. That's going to be something, isn't it? I'm going to have to try and get that thing out of the, uh, the gift shop. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Guess what I've got. Hey Jimmy, wanna touch my unicorn? Beat it! No, just touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay. Well, I mean, I suppose we should stop at Sybil, aka the Queen of Canada's on the way through and, and ask her as well. I mean, could we get locked up for this? Hopefully not. Hey, Sybil, guess what? <laughs> uh, hang on, we need to make some room. There we go. Hey, Sybil, want to rub my unicorn? <laughs> we have people who do that sort of thing for us now. Right, okay, yeah. Um, so we've got the beer. Um, tattoo designs, tableau. Can we, can we, is there anything in here this time? Still it's locked. locked. Still locked. Okay, um, let's head back to the moon, I guess. I don't really see how else we're going to do this. Nobody else has got any items or anything for us as far as I can see. So, yeah, thank you for that contribution there, Max. Let's go back to the moon. <clears throat> Where are we headed now, Sam? Uh, the only place we can go. To the moon, Alice. It's kind of weird there's no, like, gravity changes on the moon. <laughs> oh, it's a bit laggy here on the moon, actually. So it's, it's very laggy here on the moon. I'm not sure why that's happening. Um, Harry, do you want to see this? Hey, Harry. Want to rub my unicorn? No, I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> okay, fine. So, what did the guy look like who took the goggles off this display? I don't know. I didn't work here then. Fine. Uh, what was the thing we were trying to steal? Oh, the spoon bending display, wasn't it? Really should it? work on securing this thing better. Okay, so how are we going to get it? One moment, please. Uh -huh. I have no idea how that keeps winding up in there. Don't get cute. Too late. Okay, so that didn't work. So he, he he searches us the minute we leave. So is there another way out? I really should work on securing this thing better. Securing it better? I don't think there's another way out. Unless we can sneak... What kind of currency do they use on the moon? Junkets. Junkets. How appropriate. <laughs> nice. Uh, what kind of currency do they use? Okay, Junkets. No. How appropriate. Yeah, appropriate. Um... I don't know, can we give it to Max? Here Max, hold this. Oh yeah, maybe we can. I meant in your hands, but whatever. Oh, he's eating it. I see, he's eating it. So maybe that will let us get through. One moment, please. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, nice, so we've got it. Okay, cool. Um, hey, Super Bowl. Hey Super Bowl, wanna look at my unicorn? Have you achieved level red yet? No. Then no. All right. How do we achieve level red? That's that's got to be our next thing to do, right? Um, can, can we actually get that back from Max? Uh, you ate the spoon bending case. Could I have that display case you ate? Can you wait twelve to seventy-two hours? I'd rather not. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can. Maybe we can find a way to speed up that process. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. 
Hello, Super Ball. Uh, can we... This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. You are. Let us in. Forget the mood horn. Let us in. Not until you're level red, sir. Okay, so... That's right, that was so where long, the... Super Ball. That was where the unicorn came from, so... Nope, his horn's still not turning red. Okay, so we're going to need to find a way for that to turn red. I didn't notice that satellite up there before. I think that's a satellite. Yeah, it is. Can we shoot it? Yeah, we can. Doesn't do anything, but we can. Hmm. May I tell you what, maybe, thinking about it, maybe we can get some of the ketchup again from Bosco's and use that to turn the... Where are we headed now, Sam? To the Earth. Home. So yeah, maybe we can use the, the ketchup. I mean, I don't see that there's any paint or anything anywhere, so... I mean, he's still around. I don't know what this is about yet. Present and assistant destroy, destroy internet. New study. Oh, I didn't get to read that before it disappeared. Right. Uh, right, we've got the... We've got the condiments. But that's already packed with flavour. No. Okay. So what, what else can we do to this? Max, you got any ideas? Hey, Max, want to pet the unicorn? No, thanks. I took care of that before we left the office. <laughs> it's a kid's game. Um, I could use a hint. Help me out with something. Sure. Uh, the unicorn won't turn red. I'm not sure how to get this unicorn to turn red. If embarrassment doesn't work, I'd try heat. Heat. Okay. Never mind. Heat. Heat. There's a microwave here, and there's a coffee machine, So, um, and there's a nacho machine. Maybe one of these can be heat? Nah. I know one way to get horny hot. <laughs> Is this going to explode or something? Oh, nice! Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist! I know! Who would have thought it? The microwave. An amazing machine. <laughs> right, let's go back to the moon there. That was relatively easy. <laughs> we really should utilise Max a lot more than we do. I think we tried to stumble through a lot of these puzzles when actually Max has got little hints and stuff that we just don't really use. So maybe we should use those a bit more often. It's, it's not like cheating or anything, is it? So I don't know. Maybe if we do find ourselves Where struggling, we, we should now, do that. Uh, to the moon. To the moon, Alice. Let's see if it lags again when we get here. Yeah, it is. Look. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. We need to figure out this lander thing as well at some point. But first, check this out, Super Bowl. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yeah. Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. Exactly. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. <laughs> Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Thank you. This should be interesting, shouldn't it? Getting quite long loading screens this time between scenes, aren't we? Oh my god, check this place out. Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Oh Hi, my I'm Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. 
Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous! <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo! Oh, yeah, yeah. Andy. Oh, the bugs here. Andy. Um, you're awesome. Oh, good. Thank you. This guy really knows how to work a room. <laughs> no, no, never. Keep up the great work, <sighs> everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha! An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. And it's all the, the people we met. You wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. <laughs> That's right. The best. Yeah. Yes, please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. Okay, we will. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like literally literally everyone we've met in the previous episodes. What was the shark from? I don't remember the shark. Is that a strong bad reference? Because there was the shark in the, the paddling pool, right? Where's the water cooler here? Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> I meant to tell you. <laughs> oh, dear. Lincoln's Look, head. Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of Peace, Thank you. Brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? <laughs> is prismatology helping you? Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. Right. You can teleport Cuban dictators? <laughs> well, yes. But God. now I'm working on gastrokinesis. <laughs> the ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. Ooh. Teach us gastrokinesis. Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. <laughs> well, if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help. Yeah, you are. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. I... Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Uh, okay, throw it up. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. <laughs> What's your problem? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny mm. wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade A sociopathic masochist would want that job. <laughs> grade A? I'm flattered. <laughs> uh, so why are you upset then? Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. Aww. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not you moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. Uh, you mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Alright, well, uh, aren't you married? Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. <laughs> <laughs> there are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. Uh, how can a head find love? How can you expect to have a complete relationship with someone when you're, well, missing some key sub-neck accoutrements? What? How you gonna make time with the ladies, A.L.? You're just a head! <laughs> Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. Yeah, well, okay, we'll help you if Sybil. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Sybil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. 
Wait, don't hang up. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm issuing you a Romancipation Proclamation. <laughs> Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Hmm. Call me back in four score and seven years. <laughs> so we're going to have to find the right com the right um, combination here. Maybe we'll have to talk so to long, Sybil Mr. first Weekend. and figure out what that is. But I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time, so we'll do that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.